I want to do now is introduce you to the hyper shade editor, which is like adding materials to your models. Okay, materials are a big part of modeling. So these can be created and I will show you how. So you click on this. First thing I want to say is whatever pops up should probably be something like this. And there's a good chance that a lot of these panels, this is the create panel, it's the materials panel, the material viewer panel, property editor. Uh, this is what it should look like. Now, I want to mention that this one sometimes glitches out on a lot of computers. That doesn't mean that it's not working. So the first thing we want to do is get what's called a viewport editor. Okay, so we're going to go and do that, clicking this, and it will open. And what I want to do is I want to dock it in here. You see how, like this, not like this, but like this. So it pops up. And what I want to do is I'm going to move this so I can see more of that. And I, I'm going to move this whole thing if I can. It doesn't seem to want to let me. So I'm just going to go this way then so that I can see. So if ever there's a narrow and things disappear, this is where most of them should be. So your materials editor is over here and your property editor is over here. See, that's it here. The browser is probably this thing down here. So if there's any of them missing, just call me over and I'll come and help you. But try and figure it out by yourself if you can. So materials currently don't ever delete these okay these are the, the main ones that your whole level is based on so if you delete this it, it'll, it'll be nothing there all of a sudden so that'll be very tragic so the first the two main ones that we use are called are blends and Lambert's so Lambert is sort of this gray that you've seen in the level already that is everywhere and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a, a couple new uh, first one I'm gonna create is a blend so we're gonna click over here and one of the things you're going to see is the code pops up. And if you ever you made a mistake and you want to clear the code, you just press this and it'll pop up again. And see, I just recreated it twice. So if I got too many of these, what I want to do is make sure I have the right one selected. And then I'm going to uh, go to File, or, or Edit, Delete. So I'm going to Edit, Delete. But do not delete the original, all right? So I'm going to create, so again, create a blend. So now I'm going to make this the color of the sun. So what I'm going to do is very simple. Come over here. I'm going to click on this and use that yellow. And I'm going to, oh, that's good enough. I'm happy with that. And I just want to show you that in here, uh, there's transparency, ambient color, incandescence, which is kind of like, yeah, you know, I'm not going to play around with those. The ones that I usually play more with are the spectrum specular shading so by experimenting you kind of see what it does so that one kind of gives it more of a glow um, I'm going to just go with that all right and so there's a couple ways to assign uh, material you can click and drag it over uh, one of the things that I noticed though is you need to be in object mode so click object mode so that you have the green lines here that makes a big difference uh, and the per the way I prefer is right whoops right clicking assign material to selection so right now all I have the Sun selected now for me it worked so if ever it doesn't work press the 6 key so if I press the 5 key okay well for me it's on sometimes one thing you need to understand is these computers are old and the rendering is quite bad so I'm going to show you another kind of Lambert you can create so I've selected my planet here uh, actually I'm going to go with blend and what I'm going to do here is click on this box. And what this is do is going to add something specific to this box. And what I want to do is add a file. And if you go down here, this will open the uh, files that we had earlier. So we're going to go with the uh, Earth Diffuse map. And so that's going to create uh, an Earth-like uh, blend. So what we want to do is click on this and just assign this to selection and so I'm going to click off and as you can see I now have the earth over here so I'll let you do these last two if you have any questions uh, let me know okay, so I created all of these one thing I would tell you to do though is maybe rename them so if you know this to be your Mars blend make that Mars and click OK and this my Venus blend so it's always important to rename stuff properly take a few minutes to do that so I'm going to do that quickly and this one is my earth so make sure it's orange when you select it 
rename and I'm going to go earth and there you go and also uh, so I'm happy this is done and what I want to do too is go back I'm going to close diaper shade editor and press on five here and six see this is what I was telling you a while ago if the six is not on if you don't see your changes turn on the six and what I want to do too with these is I want to name them properly so uh, when I click over here I'll see this one says sun one I'm going to call it planet planet two this one's planet one because remember the reason why it says planet uh, sun because we had made a copy or duplicate planet one and I'm going to go here and I'm going to go planet three and it matters because we're going to be using the outlier editor as I, you can see I already have it open I'll explain what it is in a second um, so planet four okay so I got all my planets double check to make sure I name them right perfect so I actually had this already open um, where did I get that from you go to under windows outlier outliner so basically this is everything that's in your scene and what I want to do is parent to all these others okay so um, planet one or let's go where did my sun go okay boo boo there I'm going to drag the sun back out I made him there you go and I want to drag that to the sun and you see a little plus shows up there show that it's now parented so they're all hidden but if I click plus I can see that all my planets are there and I miss planet one so if I select this now uh, you can see all the others are now selected okay this is quite important one of the things I'm going to do now is I'm going to make the rest of my scene visible and what I want to do is bring this up and you know I'm pretty happy with this I could also uh, click the R key and just shrink it just a little bit because it's a bit big but you know just uh, enough so that it doesn't take up too much room so pretty happy with that 